Hello friends, this is VK. Today I am here to give a small presentation on Niti Ayog. The aim of this presentation is to make the concept of Niti Ayog simple and short. As you know, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has started the new year by replacing the 65 year old planning commission. On the first day of the new year, Jan 1, 2015, the Modi government set up Niti Ayog in place of the planning commission. The new government thinks that India needs an administration paradigm in which the government should be an enabler rather than a provider. So in this presentation, I would be speaking about the following topics. What is Niti Ayog? Its vision and objective. We will also discuss about the structure of Niti Ayog. And it's also necessary to understand what the opposition and the Congress feels about this new council or the new body. So Niti Ayog. Niti stands for National Institution for Transforming India, Ayog. And also let's understand the English meaning of these Hindi words. Niti in English means policy or ethics and Ayog means a commission or a committee. So Niti Ayog in English means policy commission. It's almost similar to the planning commission. So is Niti Ayog a new body? Yes, it is a new body which will be replacing the existing planning commission of India that has been working since 65 years. So what is the objective and the vision of Niti Ayog? So the vision is still in the work in progress. The framework is yet to be designed, but the framework would be designed in regards to the national agenda. And coming to the objective of Niti Ayog, it serves as the government's think tank which provides strategic and technical advice on policy matters. It also fosters the cooperative federalism and the main aim of this new council is to empower states as the government feels that stronger states make a strong nation. Niti Ayog is also to develop mechanisms to formulate credible plans at the village level and aggregate it at the highest level which is at the central level. It pays special attention to the sections of our society that may be at risk creates a knowledge, innovation and entrepreneurial support system. And there are a lot many other objectives which can be discussed in a later forum. I have highlighted few points on the differences between the new Niti Ayog and the former planning commission. So let's look at the some of the basic differences between these two commissions. So the Niti Ayog is designed to be a bottom top approach whereas the former planning commission was following a top down approach. So Niti Ayog will not have any powers to disperse funds to the states or to the central ministries whereas planning commission used to have full powers to disperse funds to the central ministries and the state government. Niti Ayog is aimed to tailor plans based on the needs at a local level. Whereas the former planning commission had one size 
fits all formula niti ayog's decisions will be taken at a local level and aggregated to the highest level whereas the planning commission all the decisions were taken at the central level so let me explain you the structure of the niti ayog Prime Minister Narendra Modi will head the body and its governing council which includes all chief ministers lieutenant governors in line with the PM's thrust on cooperative federalism which advocates involving states in the center's decision making Niti Aayog will also include experts from the respective domains and will have ex officio members part time and full time members and there will be a vice chairman who will be working under directly under prime minister and also if needed a ceo will be recruited to look after the niti ayog in a democracy both the rulers in the governments views and the opposition views matter a lot let's see what the congress views on niti ayog so i have been monitoring various uh, news and media channels and here i am highlighting few of the congress and the opposition parties views on niti ayog so the first critic that came from the congress about niti ayog was they said it's an old wine in new bottle congress would naturally oppose niti ayog as this would mark the end of the nehru the nehruvianism or the nehruvian institution that pioneered india's five year planned development approach let me read out another critic from the congress party and the congress spokesmen it is a matter of concern as what has happened is a direct attack on the federal structure it is an attempt at centralization and making the plan body an extension of the prime minister's office and the other counter that came from the congress party was the anti nehruvianism and the anti congressism was behind the government's decision of restructuring and renaming the planning commission as niti ayog and let me read out the opposition parties other than congress and what's their views on niti ayog creation of niti ayog was an attack on the freedom of the states and the panchayati raj institutions well planning commission from today will be a history there could be some advantages with the old commission but the government the new government is going forward with a new agenda to improve the existing policies and plans and let's hope for the best and wish that this new body would help in the growth of india and prosper the nation thank you hope you like this short presentation if you like it please subscribe to this channel on youtube and thank you